Hola. Anyway, um, I don't know why I said hola anyway. Okay, hi you guys. Um, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a July-August favorites. Combining them together because of the fact that I've been loving the same things anyways for the past two months. And I've been purchasing new things, returning certain things. And, I mean, this is pretty much what I've been stuck with. I'm sorry, you guys. I didn't even fix my hair. I just did my makeup and I just put some a shirt on. I'm just so lazy. I've been really, really lazy. But I really need to post up videos. Um, I've been... Oh, I don't know, MIA, I don't know why. I love posting videos, but I just hate the hassle of having to do a setup. And since I'm in my new room, it's way harder and it's really, really hot to like do videos. I don't know if you could tell, but I have like a whole new different background. Anyway, I'm going to go in with my favorites. Um, I do have some non-beauty products and some beauty products, but um, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Um... I went to Target, and Target has a sale at the end of the season where you get like at least 60%, 70% off certain certain items like shoes, sandals, I don't know, um, just different, you know, different things. And I went ahead and purchased this one. This is like a two-inch wedge. It has black buckles and just nude on, on, the, on the strap. And original price is $29.99, and I got it for $14.98, so which is an awesome deal. And, I mean, it's a little big on me because this was, like, the last size, but I could still work it. I mean, I'm, I'm still trying to learn how to walk in them. That's the thing. Like, I gotta learn how to walk in them first and then decide to go out. That's why it still has a tag on it. But, um, yeah, I like those ones. And then, ugh, I'm going to reach for them. Um, these are a little big on me, too. <laughs> these are the last sizes they had. And, um, anyway, these are the Morona sandals. I bought three of these. I have this color, which is, like, a greenish, mint green color. Um, I like a pastel green color. Yeah, pastel green color. I got a white one and a black one. Original price, I believe, was like $24.99, and I got it for $4.98. So, that was a good deal. Ugh. <clears throat> wow. Another one is the Essie Nail Color in Ole Caliente. I had this on my toes for like the longest time, for two months at least. And I love the color on, on different sandals, and... I think I would, because right now I have red, but I think I would color my nails again this color soon. I really love it. Let's see. Another one is the Batisti, Batisti, Batiste, Batiste. I don't know how to pronounce this. Batiste. <laughs> okay, this is in dry shampoo, and I got the um, the baby size because this thing was so expensive. This was, I believe like eight nine dollars for the for the full size and this alone was like four bucks I was like dude seriously but I seen that it was like a floral fruity blush seductive smell whatever um and so I wanted to try it uh, I haven't had I haven't repurchased dry, dry shampoo in a long long time and when I seen this one I mean when I smelled it it was really good I love the smell of this and so I was like, oh man, I wish I had a smaller version. And when I looked to the side, they had this one, and I just grabbed it. I was like, oh, I'm so happy. It was the last one, too. So, um, I like it, but I wouldn't repurchase it. Because I think for the price of this, like, I could actually get a shampoo and conditioner. Ooh, and I've been loving that one, too. It's the, um, Herbal Essence Honey shampoo and conditioner oh my god it's so bomb super bomb okay anyway for perfume i've been loving mark jacobs dot i only have the travel size because i i have so much perfume i just recently bought this too i have so many i don't know if you guys seen my perfume collection but i have so many that i don't want to buy a bigger bottle anymore I like buying this smaller version. Some perfumes, like this Prada Milano perfume I love, it smells so good, you guys. And I can't even buy it. <laughs> it's so expensive. It's like a hundred bucks. And I'm tired of spending money on perfumes. Like, I, I don't mind, but I have so many that, I mean, one of these days when I get older, like, they probably will not even, I, I probably might even have these until I turn like 80 and shit. So, I don't know. But anyways, going back to this one. Oh my god, it smells so good. It's like a hint of fruit, and then once it's on your skin, it smells so floral, and I've been loving that for summer. I really, really do. 
Okay, I'm gonna ramble into these real quick. Brushes. Normally, I don't buy MAC brushes. I don't know if I've ever said that in a past video. I was just like, I wouldn't spend money on a expensive brush when I could buy a whole set for the price of one. Yeah, okay. Well, fuck what I said before. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just going against what I said, you know? Um, these brushes have been a staple for me since I bought them. I use the MAC 190 for my uh, moisturizer and concealer. I would not use this as a foundation brush, which it's supposed to be, because streaks come out and it's ugly. I love that. MAC 195. I use this for my concealer when I'm doing my eyebrows. You see that angle it gives? It makes me be able to, like, really carve my eyebrows. Did I just do that right? Yeah. Carve my eyebrows with the concealer, and I really, really love the tip of it. Because of the tip, I could pretty much get into that arch right there. And um, I really, really like it. I'm going to start taking care of these because they're pretty expensive. I'm not going to lie. They're very expensive brushes. Another one is the MAC 224. I've been eyeing this baby for a long, long time. And I just never wanted to pull out the money for it. I really didn't. Like, I was just like, man, I really want you, but I can't have you. You know, you know how you have certain things like that? Well, yeah, that's how I felt. But anyways, I went ahead and bought it anyways. I was like, you know what? If I really want you, I gotta have you. So yeah, the MAC 224 blending brush. Super good for blending that those creased colors together and taking out that harsh line. 217, I had you for a while. Um, I purchased two more, actually. Um, 217, dude, you are an all-over brush. I have a video... Um, a previous video talking about what I do with this and I've been I mean you can do a lot of things with this brush I love this brush um, if I ever lose you all three of you guys I would repurchase this but yeah love that brush and the MAC 3 230 I think Hold on. it's already rubbed off yeah 230 this brush is pretty much to pack on color on my lid I really love it I bought two of these too I don't know why, but um, it was a compulsive buy. Um, I don't know. I love packing color. And I also would use the other one for glitter. I think that's why I bought two. One for eyeshadow and one for glitter. But I haven't really played with glitter recently. So I'm going to have to try and do that. Anyway, <clears throat> for concealer. Um, I normally... Let's see. How, do you, how, how am I going to put this in a sentence? Um... When I started using more expensive brands, I started leaning towards more expensive brands. Before, I would love drugstore like Elf and, and, and Wet n Wild and stuff like that. Um, but, I don't know, recently I went back to the to the drugstore and i seen these. This is the L'Oreal Visible Lift Concealer in Medium Deep and the Magic Lumi in Medium... Yeah, Medium. Anyways, these two, I think they're like... 13 12 dollars each 12 13 14 dollars each um and i should have known like these concealers are actually more opaque and more i don't know they're more better than the expensive brands i feel like now i buy expensive brands for the name not even for the product anymore because i'm gonna talk about another product later on that's in the high end um, category and I think these are better I mean I could buy four of these for the price of one of those so um, I'm very happy I purchased these ones. these ones are really good I love this one for highlighting and I love this one for concealing my dark circles they're both awesome I love them next is the this was like another thrown back item uh, the Rimmel Scandalize in Nude I bought this a long time ago and I like just tossed it to the side I didn't want to use it anymore I used it once or twice and I was just like, ugh. But now that it's summer, I love the no makeup makeup look where I only have like a tinted moisturizer on or whatever just to even out my skin tone or just, you know, just a regular primer or whatever. And I have this in my waterline and it opens up my eyes, makes me look a lot fresher. And I really like this. Ugh. Okay. Alrighty. This is something I, I, I've been wanting to talk about. This is the L'Oreal Revitalift Miracle Blur Instant Skin Smoother. It looks like this. Please do not purchase the oil-free oil, oil free one because it just 
bubbles up on your skin. It, 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 I don't like it. I like the original kind. Anyways, um, this erases the visible lines, wrinkles, and pores that you have. I can't believe I was purchasing the Becca primer for 40 bucks when I could get this for 21 at the drugstore. Um, and this works way, way better than that one. I love this. I don't know how I went along with my life dealing with pores because as I'm getting older I do get like visible pores like on my cheek area and I don't know why I never knew about this and I'm so happy I purchased it I highly recommend this for women that have visible pores lines like I even recommend this to my mom and she's been using it and she's been loving it I one of these days I'm gonna have her in my video so you guys get to see her but um I don't know I'm 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 so impressed of this. I'm very, very impressed that L'Oreal has been stepping up their game when it comes to drugstore um, serums and stuff. Because, I mean, this is good stuff. This is really good stuff. I would repurchase that. Another favorite is the MAC Oil Control Lotion. I'm not going to really talk about this because I know I, you guys already know what this is for. So, I've been loving that. Um, another new newbie in my collection is the Sephora brand Hydrant mattifying eight hour wear moisturizer and sunscreen and it comes in a pump so that's a good thing i love pumps i hate squeezing suckers out like that anyway um with this one i do see um a mattifying wear of maybe four or five hours eight hours i haven't really seen that i don't think it lives up to the eight hour mattifying bullshit um and i don't know like it's like telling me you have a lifetime guarantee there's no such thing Anyway, um, I love the fact that this keeps me mattified for a good four or five hours because I think that's like the longest, well unless I'm working, like that's pretty much like the longest time I've ever had my makeup on. Like I would not fucking wear my makeup for like, you know how Color Stay has like that 24 hour last makeup bullshit, like why the fuck would you have your makeup on for 24 hours? Like, what the fuck you do? Like, <laughs> anyway, um, I really love this. I would repurchase this once I'm out. And, I don't know, I, I would I would recommend that. I would, I really would. For lipsticks, the YSL number 2 lip gloss. I, I hate lip gloss. I don't know how, much, how many times I have to say that. But when I don't have makeup on, when I just have a natural look, I love gloss because of the fact that my face would not be all like humid and sticky and heavy with gloss on. So, if I am wearing no makeup with lip gloss, I love it. But if I'm wearing full face makeup with lip gloss, fuck that. You will never see me do that. Lipstick always. Anyway, like I said, lipstick always. The MAC Viva Glam 2. Beautiful mauve nude color. That's what I have on on my lips right now. Anyway, love this color. Happy I purchased it. And I would probably repurchase. But I have a dupe of this. I don't... I just can't find it. I think it's the Wet n Wild 902C. I just can't find it, but I'm happy with that because I can back to Mac that anyways once I'm done. Another Mac product is um, the Fluid Line Brow Cream Gel in Deep Dark Brunette. I use this for my eyebrows. I'm gonna go ahead and get oops get closer to the camera so you kind of have a uh, a look on how my eyebrows look. I use this one to pretty much line the bottom and line the top and fill in my brows. Um, I like this product because it's easy to blend. It's kind of dry in the container. Like, if you look at it inside the, the whatever it's called, the jar, it looks really, really dry. When you dip your, your, um, your brush into it, it's kind of drying. But once you glide it on with foundation on, it, it really comes out very beautifully. And it's easy to conceal, too, if you ever make any mistakes in, you know, drawing your brows and stuff, which I always do on this side. But, yeah, I'm happy about that. Another two MAC products is the Face and Body Foundation and the Studio Fix Fluid. Oh my goodness. Studio Fix Fluid. If you want super duper full coverage where you look like a Barbie doll, you should purchase this. But oh my god, warning you guys, your face is going to feel like it's like 12 pounds. With the Face and Body, I love this. It gives me such a beautiful coverage. It gives me just enough, um, let's see, let's see, just enough like texture where it's not so heavy I have this on right now I don't know if you guys could see but I really love it I love how this 
foundation looks on me. I love I love the finish of it. It's not mattifying, but it's it's more like skin. Like I feel like you could still see my skin through my foundation. Unlike with this one, ugh, you can't see shit. Like I said, you look like a fucking porcelain doll. But if you mix these two together, you'll have a good coverage. You'll have a good kind of consistency on your foundation, which I'm going to try in the winter. Um, instead of returning this, I'm just going to, like I said, mix them two, see what happens. And if I really don't like it, I have my receipt in my box, which I always keep when I buy MAC. Um, I will probably return that and get the... I want to try the MAC BB cream, the one in the tube, though, because the one in the compact is for dry skin. The one in the tube is for oily skin, and I am oily skin, so I really want to try that. So you might see that in my next favorites video I don't know lastly I want to talk about um, a newbie again it's the Marc Jacobs remedy concealer pen in up all night I purchased this recently it's in my favorites video because I wanted to talk about it too um, it's really not much of a favorite for me um, I like I said earlier I think I could buy four concealer pens from the drugstore for one for one of these um, the cool thing about it is it does have that metal thing at the end where it supposedly cools down or, or cools your eye, your, the, your, the puffiness of your eye, like, it helps it, whatever, but, um, I tried it and it, it's, it's really thick, like, when I first bought it, I was skeptical because I was like, okay, I love his perfumes, but Marc Jacobs, are you really going there, like? makeup line come on it's like ck1 you know when they have like ck1 perfume and then all of a sudden they come out with some makeup it's like what the fuck you doing here like you don't belong here but i mean overall like i i'm, I'm impressed with the consistency of their makeup i do have samples of the foundation but i haven't used it yet i probably will in my next video if i do make a um like a get ready with me but um i don't think i think i'm gonna i'm gonna return this um I don't think I would spend another $40 on buying this. It's not like Back to Mac where if you buy five or six, you get to return, you know, and you get a free makeup. It's not like that. So once this product is done, it's done. Your $40 is gone. And it's 2.5 mil, but the crazy part about it is if you have one of those Sephora samples, I believe that's a, that's a 2.5 mil or even more than that. So think about it, you're just buying a sample size. And the only thing you're really purchasing is the packaging. So I love it. It's really nice. I would recommend getting a sample of it. But I don't think I would recommend purchasing this if you're more on the um, you use it every day type of person. I wouldn't purchase this because it, you would go through this so quick that your $40 is gone. But yeah, that's pretty much it that's all for my favorites for the past two months i'm so happy i finished this video without my camera stopping um i just want to do a quick look on my eyes and my makeup i don't know if you guys could see that but that's how my makeup looks today i have no eyeliner but um yeah i would probably list down below what i used Anyway, it's so glad to, to talk to you guys again. I know I'm always gone. I don't know why. I'm just so lazy sometimes making videos, trying to get ready and stuff. But anyways, I'm happy that I was able to make this video for you guys. I hope you guys like it. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.